Now to some long-awaited closure for a Northwest family. More than a decade after an Oregon man went missing in the dense forest of Southwest Washington, his remains have now been found. Fox 12's Dylan Scott and photojournalist Brandon Fuller traveled about 100 miles north where the original search ended unsuccessfully. They also spoke with both family and law enforcement about this complex case of lost and found in an unforgivable frontier. I honestly thought that we wouldn't ever find him because the search that was done was pretty extensive and there was just like really no trace of him. For almost 11 years, Laura Devlominick waited for the call. Some news, any news regarding her brother, also a father to an 11 year old girl, Christopher Zitzowitz. I just feel like in this picture, it's a good representation of him just sitting back and calm, kind of at peace. Who went missing while hiking in the Gifford Pinchot National Forest in September 2013. I feel like we kind of got robbed of a lot of time with him and um, like when I think about it, like I've outlived my older brother six years now. Last month, that call finally came from the Skamania County Sheriff's Office. A hiker had come across a human skull and pelvis near the lava beds where he had last been seen. Preliminary reports saying it was in fact Chris. When I was contacted by the detective, I had gotten off the phone with him and I had like a panic attack because I was just like in shock. He is somewhere right in here, actually. Richard Blevins with the Silver Star Search and Rescue coordinated the efforts more than a decade ago and remembers it as among the most difficult in his 50 years in the field. It is treacherous. There's uh, ground fissures. There's uh, lots of sharp rocks. And if you're not careful, you can trip and fall. For more than six days and nights, dozens of crews comb the area, many coming close to where Zitzowitz is believed to have perished but without the results they were hoping for. Kept looking, always a hopeful of finding some sort of evidence or the subject himself. Uh, that's with any case, but this one was the, probably the longest one we've ever had. Is it Chris? Is it Christopher? That was my first thought to myself. Detective Jeremy Schultz with the Skamania County Sheriff's Office led the investigation and says all these years later, it was part determination and part luck that located the remains. The the fact of the lava beds being as large as they are and it's spanning the, the miles that they do, to find something like a needle in a haystack is another accomplishment. While they may never know what happened to the then 31-year-old Northwest Oregon native, it's one more case that finally has some sort of closure. When I'm driving through the woods, it's even when I'm not working, it's always resonating in my mind you know, uh, the different people that are missing still um, or have gone missing that we found. One thing both the family and law enforcement want you to take from a tragic story like this is to never underestimate the terrain you're getting into. For example, look how difficult this would be to hike and we're only about 50 feet away from the road. Also keep in mind that your gear may not work the way it's supposed to. This compass really struggling as we're close to the magnetism in the lava fields. You know, you can't prepare for everything, but be prepared for some worst case scenarios, have some extra precautions, have some flagging ribbon with you to flag a trail back to your car. The county estimates there could be a dozen or more missing persons in this densely forested area in southwest Washington, each one of them imported, like Christopher Zitzowitz, to all those they left behind. It's sad, but it's a relief that he's been found and that we can at least put his remains to rest and know that He's not just out there somewhere in the world, like forgotten. In the Gifford Pinchot National Forest, Dylan Scott, Fox 12 Oregon.